Well, new this morning at 620. If you've been to Greendale lately, you certainly have noticed the giant sunflowers popping up. Our Sean Gallagher is live in the village this morning to explain where these unique plants came from and why they've grown so tall. Sean, you're up on a ladder. Yeah, I got the bravery to get back up here on this ladder and still not even as high as these sunflowers go. This one about 12 feet tall and you can see a bunch of these more than uh, two dozen about right here in Greendale. But I'll make my way down to talk to the experts, the people who know most about it. Terry Krieger, uh, we've had a lot of rain recently, a lot of winds. How, how, these things are massive. How have they kind of stood up to that? Well, the stalk is about seven and a half inches around at the base. So, I mean, you can fare that. It's almost like a two by four. They're pretty sturdy in the wind. I mean, last Last weekend it was fairly windy and you can see most of them are still standing. I mean this one right here is kind of sagging down a little bit but these heads are about you know I mean you can feel the weight on it probably three or four pounds just in the head. Plus we have our friendly uh, birds the uh, goldfinches that also love eating the seeds on them and I think that that's why they some of these are knocked over. Yeah, I was just going to say when I did that, I, I got a little bit of a, a seedling there very early on in the seeds. But these things, uh, they end up being kind of what you eat when you, you're playing baseball as a young kid. Oh, exactly. And each one of these heads, uh, about a thousand seeds per head, which is that's unheard of. I mean, a normal sunflower, probably half of that, you know, I mean. It's a dinner plate right here, <laughs> essentially. And uh, I know that we've been talking about that these are, are Russian, but sunflowers, they're inherently American. Yeah, it's actually the one of the only cultivation crops that is born in the United States. And um, they uh, were they were started in the United States and they went over to Russia and they got modified and then the Russians brought us these Russian mammoths that we have here that get 10 to 15 feet tall when in fact there is an American giant variety that does get a little bit taller than our <laughs> Russian counterparts. That's awesome. Well Terry thank you very much for talking about these and uh, they actually are growing some giant pumpkins as well which we may try to talk about those a little bit later on but for now in Greendale Sean Gallagher today's TMJ4. And so Sean can, ask him. Can, sh uh, can humans eat those sunflower seeds or do we have to leave them to the birds. Well, can humans eat the sunflower seeds? Yeah, humans and birds. There, but you'd want to wait till the end of the year once they dry out a little bit and fall off. Yeah, well, well, maybe I can grab some and bring them back for you guys, and we can just hang on to them for a little while, see how they are. In and a, a little months. salt. All right, thanks so much, Sean. Really cool.